on this episode of Bass to Billfish. Mike and Chrissy are a fun-loving fishing couple from Algonquin, Illinois. We both really love to go fishing for anything. But after being selected to appear on Bass to Billfish, this husband and wife fishing team may have bitten off more than they can chew. Florida, the fishing capital of the world. With over 2,000 miles of pristine shoreline, join three-time World Sailfish Championship winner and pro angler Peter Miller as he takes these lucky winners on a once-in-a-lifetime fishing adventure. From freshwater to saltwater, ocean to Everglades, come join us for a fishing experience like no other. This is Florida's Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller, presented by Yellowfin and by Visit Florida. Unleash your Florida side. Hi, my name is Christine Akokatis and this is my husband Mike and we are from good old Algonquin, Illinois. I picked Mike and Chrissy for this shoot because they're really big fans of the show and it's nice to get a response from the viewers and uh, Mike's been all over Facebook, always commenting. Our level of fishing experience is I'm a 10 and she's a 2. That's, that's what he thinks. <laughs> As what's normally true with most couples, you bring your spouse in, they typically catch more fish than you. It would just be a wonderful thing to do with her. It would. So, pick me! Pick me! <laughs> On day one of the shoot, I made a stop at Dunkin' Donuts for everybody and I got the big cardboard container. The big jug, it's enough for 10. I walked right up to him and greeted him. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. It was almost like meeting up with a friend that you hadn't seen in a few years. He was just so nice and made you feel so comfortable. You guys look so awake. <laughs> I'm running on adrenaline. Are you? Yeah. They were really looking forward to a great day out there. No, oh, we're ready to go. I talked to our guy, Joe Gonzalez, who's He's over at the uh, marina already. I got Madison taking the boat over, and um, I, think we're, I think we're pretty set. All right, let's go. Awesome. Everybody was gung-ho, and we met Joe at about 6.30, right on the money. <laughs> What's up, man? How, how are, are you? you? How are you? Good, this okay. is uh, Mike. Hey, Mike, how are nice you? To you? Nice to meet you. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Chrissy, Hi. nice to meet you. Madison was pulling my boat over to the marina. <laughs> The new boat is a 24 Yellowfin Bay boat with a tower, two stations. Pretty high performance. Raymarine touchscreens. That boat was nice. That's my stream boat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, what we're doing is we're using blue crabs. We got a seven odd octopus hook. Hey, how come your guy's so active? Does he mean you're gonna get a bite on that one? Maybe. My guy looks a little stunned. <laughs> there's an area called Stiltsville where there's homes on stilts. It's a very busy channel, but there's a ton of fish that move through that area. So he thought that might be a good spot to try for some permit with these live crabs. I'm gonna drop the electric down in a second once we get over there, right? Okay. The Rodan trolling motor is brand new. Uh, I'm trying to uh, figure out my new motor. I gotta go get the instructions. It's working. Perfect. I'm a genius. It's a great way to start the day with something working. I read the instructions. Okay. That thing is pretty amazing. You tell it to anchor and it just it runs keeps and you keeps place. you in place. We're holding, bro. Okay. He's got the remote control for it, so he can do everything from the tower. It is pretty amazing. I'm like a Rodan. Yeah, you are. So you're a huggable Rodan, you know? You keep the boat in position and then you can get a good hug out of you too. We're gonna try to catch some uh, small some fish, so maybe we can, <laughs> maybe we can put him out for a shark bait a little later. <laughs> so he's put on some shrimp, put him down on the bottom. Okay, wait for him. Wait for him. Just kind of lift up a little bit. Lift up. He's got it. Real, real. Oh, we got him on. We got, we got a serious grunt there. A little more. Perfect. And just straight up now. All right. Look at that foul hooked grunt. Yep. <laughs> and then Chrissy starts catching one after another. Got him. There you go. Good. Go, 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 go. Oh hey, my! Lane snapper. A grouper! You got a grouper. Woo. I enjoyed it. It doesn't matter what type of fish, whatever I was catching, I was happy with. Oh, another yellowtail. Just the, the <laughs> technique, how Joe was directing me on, on how to hook the fish. Away, let him have it. That oh, part blew my mind, yeah. We do. Oh, we found a school of spot tail grunts, Peter. She caught grunts and yellowtail and little strawberry grouper and just on and on and on. What's that, Elaine? She was having a ball. I sometimes wouldn't even know there was a fish on and Joe would be like, well, he should be eating it right now. There you go. Good. 
And I drew in and there's, there's fish. this fish on there. And I would have bet there wasn't. <laughs> Another one of those guys. Seeing her catching fish and her having fun with a smile on her face, I love it. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. Lo and behold, the rod's just doubled over. There you go, there he is. Oh yeah. Each fish was bigger and better, bigger and better as we kept going. Holy cow. Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Visit Florida. Your Florida side is calling. Go to visitflorida.com. Pet Boys does everything for less. Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. With the help of fishing guide Joe Gonzalez, Peter has brought his guests out to fish the flats of Biscayne Bay. Oh, we found a school of spot tail grunts, Peter. Now, they head out in search of trophy bonefish. Joe and I, uh, we decided to move to a new spot. How about I get the anchor and you start her up? I don't have the anchor, I got the uh, Rodan uh, GPS anchor. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, I'm surprised. The thing really works. Joe decided to go over to Soldier's Key to try for possibly bonefish. That area is known for sharks. You can shut down, Peter. So we figured we'd try our luck over there. From a distance, it looks cool because you're seeing the birds flying in and out. You see the different colors of the water as you approach the little island. Then all of a sudden, you get hit with a, a wonderful smell. We'll just say it's bird. Bird waste. <laughs> yeah. I hate birds. Christy started again with her uh, mangrove snapper. Real? Real? Hey, look at that, a mangrove snapper. For me, it was fun, but again, it's not the fish that we were targeting. We lit in all the way, Chrissy got another snapper. This is what happens when we go fishing <laughs> up by us. I'm happy for her, but then on the other side, I'm like, okay, I can't go out like this. I have to catch some fish. How many snappers have you caught today? I don't know, apparently too many. <laughs> I would say a baker's dozen. I could see that he was getting a little antsy. You know, Chrissy was having a good time, but we needed to put him on a fish. You know I'm about to throw a slab right off the back corner? I know that. We put out a shark rod with a wire leader, nice 8-0 circle hook. We got Chrissy and Mike up there throwing shrimp, and I figured I'd hang out on the back here and uh, see if I could drum up a little shark action. Lo and behold, the rod's just doubled over in the holder. Mike runs over and picks it up. Just wind fast and don't yank. Wind, wind, wind. There you go. Oh, there he is. Here we go. That is crazy. He's fighting the fish, and we were anchored. We had the engine down. If it does come under here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pass it under this rope. Now he's right here. Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. They call that the launch. He goes around high speed around the back of the boat. Okay. Pass under. Come on, come on, from this way. Under, all the, all way, the way. Under, all the way under. There you go. Good. You keep going forward. Keep going forward. Keep going forward all the way. That boy Mike from Chicago can move. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the one right through. Perfect. It was a great move. Call it the, call it the, right. what do we call That's that? Huge. <laughs> that was cool, huh? Straight up, good. Okay, come around this side, Joe, hang on, don't lose him, and if you gotta hold no, no, on to the good. rod. We're good, First time in my life I've ever seen a shark, not in a tank. <laughs> yeah, at the aquarium. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Call that the swim away. We hooked up our bait, Launched out again, and right away, boom, hooked up on massive shark. Yeah. <laughs> Chrissy's getting a bite. Ready? Log it up. Log it up. There you go. Ready? Reel. Okay, you don't reel. <laughs> you know, when it's going, you can't reel. Nice. That one was huge. That blew everything else out of the water. It came off, okay. Good job, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Each fish we were All catching right. was just bigger and better, bigger yeah. and better as we kept going. Chrissy, what do you have on? I have no idea. <laughs> Pulling in fish that weigh as much as we do is just amazing. Perfect, perfect, nice and gentle up. Good deal. Don't let go of the rod. Pull in that slack, that little bit of slack right there. We caught a bunch of sharks. We had probably four or five of them to the boat, holding them for pictures. Ready. Are you getting tired yet? You guys gonna sleep tonight? Because we know you didn't sleep last night. <laughs> no, we didn't. Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. 
I got the leader up at the front of the boat. Okay, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Just pop it in reverse. Oh. Now I'm overboard. Oh. <laughs> oh. to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Yellowfin, Choice of Champions, Mercury, number one on the water, Mazda, Zoom Zoom, Gaff Magazine, your coastal lifestyle angling and destination publication. Closed captioning for Bass to Billfish has been provided by FishingCapital.com. Fishing the waters of Biscayne Bay has already provided some memorable catches for Peter and his guests. Oh yeah! Now, they hope a new day will bring some new trophy fish. But first, Peter has a special surprise for Mike and Chrissy. Well, you guys know I'm on the uh, Miami Dolphins uh, Fins Weekend Committee and uh, raises money for the inner city kids here in uh, South Florida. And uh, my friend Jeff Peck, who runs it, they've invited us over the banquet for the uh, Fins Weekend. And you guys can meet some of the Do Miami Dolphins. We'll have dinner under the tent at Miami Beach Marina. What do you guys think? That's awesome. Uh, let me think, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> I figured you guys wouldn't mind. <laughs> Beautiful. It was glass calm going out there. It was a great run. Yeah, we're gonna fish right up in front of us. The watercolor. I mean, it's almost like looking at a rainbow of like blues and greens. And to think that it's only like three feet and there's this much life out here is yeah. phenomenal. Joe spotted a nice sized bonefish, and he told Mike cast it right there. And Mike, perfect cast, threw it right in the spot. Rod tip again. Boom. Down. Screaming out. That's him. Got a bonefish. Go 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 go. Holy cow. It must have been like a three minute run, just nonstop. Wait, 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 wait till he stops. With setting the drag tight, it actually makes the fish run harder. You know, the funny thing is when you see this fish, you're gonna be like, wait a second, that fish just did that? Start walking forward with me. Good, keep coming, bud. This fish was bringing him back and forth, the front of the boat to the back of the boat. He had to go over the engine, but he kept up with it. And to see the amount of fun that he was having doing it, it's a once in a lifetime experience. It was very cool. This is crazy. He had a really good technique, never whining against the drag. Every time I looked, I'm like, huh, he's got it. That was a nice little battle. Finally get it into the, into the boat. Very nice, Mike. Nice, Great guys. Fish, Mike. <laughs> to see the size of it and the battle that it gave me, I was impressed. Great work. That is a nice one. How big? Nine? Yeah, about eight pounds. Way to go, guys. To catch a fish like that, I mean, that's what we were shooting for. That's what we wanted. That's an amazing fish. So let's let this beautiful fish go. Look at him. Woohoo! Swimming off. Yeah. Woo! Nice. Good yes. Job. Yes. Yes. Great. Awesome. Yes. yes. What's nice about landing a fish like that, it's kind of like endorphins being released in your body and you get very happy and very jokey and uh, Joe is no different. And that's why we do this stuff, right? It's, it never gets old. I'm, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. <laughs> oh, no way, Joe. <laughs> yeah. He started uh, doing a little freestyle. Joe, if you finish this line, you'll be my hero forever. I like it when you call me big. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I know the song you're talking about. <laughs> that, the way he said it was like, dad, dad? <laughs> Don't baby talk with Biggie Smalls. After we caught the bonefish, we were so excited that we kind of hung out there. The tide was still going out. Are we floating? No, we're not floating. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we all got out of the boat. We're pushing. And we're hung up. All the people on Bass to Billfish on the right side. You and Peter are in the front pulling the boat, and you guys turn around, and here's He's Joe. sitting in the back sitting just back kicking back his feet. What do you call that move you're pulling right there? Is that the sit down, push the boat? Yes. OK, I just want to make sure. Thanks for the help, Joe. We got it. <laughs> that Joe, man, he knows the path of least resistance. Where's the next, where's the next spot? Coming up next on Bass to Billfish. OK, we got a, we got a fish. <laughs> You're the next contestant on the shark is right. Watch yourself. Now I'm overboard. Oh. <laughs> Bass to Billfish with Peter Miller is brought to you by Miami. Express yourself. Fish Hard Gear, official apparel provider of Bass to Billfish and Peter Miller. Rodan. 
precision GPS guided trolling motors. FWC, there's only one season in Florida, fishing season. Avid anglers Mike and Chrissy have had a great time catching big sharks oh, yeah. and the elusive bonefish. But as the group takes a moment to enjoy the beautiful South Florida weather, the fish have another plan. There you okay, we got a fish. <laughs> oh, that's great. Come on. And I look, there's the rod bent over in the holder with a shark on. All right, don't forget to wind. <laughs> like now. Fine, fine. Now's a good time to wind. <laughs> <laughs> the other rod starts to go. Oh, well, we got a double header going. <laughs> Come on down, Mike. You're the next contestant on the shark is right. So we have a double hookup. Both of us have sharks. Both of us are running around the boat, going up and under. Chrissy, come in under Mike. You want me to go under him? Seeing you battling the fish like that. Yeah, that was just, fun. Yeah. Way forward. Oh, okay, good. you're good. You're good. Okay, you're come good. up. Switch sides. Well, I'm lucky I had my gloves. I think I just saved my finger. <laughs> I think, <laughs> as it falls off on the deck of the boat. We were drifting rapidly with an incoming tide across the flats, so the boat was kind of running them over. Oh, you like that? So Joe, you gotta back it up. We got the fish here, Joe, back it up. I'm trying. You're beeping all beepers. What do you want me to do? Just stay ready. Chrissy's up on front, I'm trying to get everything ready, squared away. I cannot figure this out. I got the leader up at the front of the boat. Okay, are you good? Yeah, I'm good, just pop it in reverse. The controls are very sensitive. A little softer, that'd be good. I don't have a thumb and now I'm overboard. Oh. Dude, I was sure I was going over. I grabbed that motor and it flexed and I'm like, I got nothing. I just look like Nadia Kalmich going for a dismount on that I'm thing. I'm sorry about that. Almost threw you guys off the boat. We're laughing, almost overboard. But we kept, we still had to fish on. Yep. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh. Look at that, Chrissy. Wow. That's your biggest, what a trip. You guys crushed it. Way to go, way to go. Come on, give me some skin, brother. Yeah. Look, he's busy, he's like, I'm winding. It's such a rewarding feeling to finally get it to the boat and to see the size of it. It's just awesome. All right, here we go. Nice release. That is a workout. Yeah, it was a workout. Oh my. Yeah, you did a great job. And then it was time to work on Mike's fish, which was considerably bigger. Look at that. Watch yourself. Nice. Oh, my lanta. That's a big one. Oh, my lanta. Yeah, that's a big fish. Seeing the size at the end when your arms just fall down and you're just about done and finally seeing that fish on the end of that line, how huge it is, it's remarkable. Uh, there's, there's nothing like it. Nice work, guys. Ooh. Yes. How did you get my nice. <laughs> Great job, guys. But now we got to run back take showers and head over to the Miami Beach Marina so we can have dinner with the Miami Dolphins. Sounds good. What's really neat about the Finns Weekend is that they give back to the community and I felt really fortunate to be asked to help out with that and teach these young kids how to fish. This is awesome. They had 15 Miami Dolphins players. I'm Peter, by the way. How are you doing, Peter? Chad. Peter. Hey, Chad, nice to meet you, man. We got a chance to talk to the children, see who's caught fish. Most of them hadn't, so we got a chance to show them how to tie the hooks on, put the bobbers, worms, rubber worms, and then fish after fish started coming in over the railing. Real, real. You got a bass, page. Real, real. Swing them in. Whoa! Jimmy! Jimmy, I got a big open! Hey! Me? It was so rewarding to see the smiles on these kids' faces. That's the way to do it. And I saw everybody kind of walking away. I said, has anyone not caught a fish? He's gonna go get you one right now. Come on, Jamar. Are you ready to catch one? Put a rubber worm on, went to this one spot. Is that fake? Is what fake? Yeah, that's not a real camera. This is, this is real. No, this is fake. And we casted the bait out, hooked probably one of the nicest bass we caught all day. There you go, now pull up. There you go, that's a nice one too. And swing! That's the biggest one we've caught all day! His face was like, I mean, smiles like you've never seen before, ear to ear, just staring at his fish in amazement, and it was great to be a part of that. It's something I'll never forget. You know, you teach these kids how to fish, and they'll probably fish the rest of their lives because of this little, this little moment that they had today. Being that this is Bass to Billfish, we like to entertain our guests above and beyond fishing, so we took them to the awards banquet for the Finns weekend. I am a ginormous Dolphins fan, 
So that was very cool to um, be a part of that. They got a chance to meet Mike D, the CEO and president of the Dolphins. These are my guys that came in for the show to film Bass of Billfish. This is Mike D. They got a chance to meet Champ, who is a part owner of Hooters, which was funny. She said, oh, really, the Hooters here in Miami? I said, no, like all the Hooters. And she got a chance to meet the famed artist, Carrie Chen, which you may have seen on the show before, Brian Hartline, a Miami Dolphins player. And then we met a professional wrestler, Ted DiBiase, and he said, well, Peter, you know, I love your show. He goes, you should put me on your show. When, when am I going to be on the fishing show? kindly told him that he needs to enter his audition tape like the rest of us. You have to be selected. I'll audition right now. So he actually, right there on camera, was like, this is my audition tape. <laughs> That's Grouper. Yeah, you did catch a Grouper. <laughs> so we start to leave the benefit, and Peter explains to us that he has one last surprise for us. I have gift certificates for you guys to Bass Pro Shops. Which was very cool to have because that's my store. I take them there. Often. Yeah, I take them there often. <laughs> yeah. Just to visit the store. <laughs> the trip was fantastic. They caught tons of fish, big sharks. They caught a trophy bonefish. It was just a fantastic trip. Meeting Peter, it's it's just like hanging out with one of your friends. Florida itself was just amazing. Yeah, and we're gonna keep coming back. I mean, what Florida has to offer, it's amazing. Everything was 10 star. It blows everything out of the water. Go to BassToBillFish.com and find out how you can audition to become the next guest on Bass to Billfish. The Bass to Billfish mobile app is here. Go to BassToBillFish.com to get your free app today.